Sarah successfully moved the motion through the Senate, which also got up in the House of Representatives condemning the government recently on the Malaysia thing. Senator Sarah Hansen Young needs no further words than me. Well, thank you for the lovely welcome. Wow. Um, and I think back 10 years ago, I was one of, one of these people standing here at rallies, rally after rally, calling on the government of the day, the Howard government, to stop locking up children, to stop condemning vulnerable people to a lifetime of misery simply because they had done what any family would do in search of protection. If you are fleeing for your life, you continue to run until you feel safe. And that's what people have done for centuries, for hundreds and thousands of years. And yet here in Australia, despite what should be an absolute celebration of the fact that Australia was one of the leading countries that pushed for the Refugee Convention, we're one of the leading countries, our parliamentarians, were our leading parliamentarians were the ones who drafted the Refugee Convention. In the 60-year anniversary of the Convention, it should be Australia that is holding its head high and saying, we set the world standard. Unfortunately, it's just not the case. I was in Christmas Island uh, a week ago and I visited the 272 people that are being held in legal limbo on Christmas Island, waiting their fate waiting until Julia Gillard and her government decide to expel them to Malaysia or some other country. And I walked into this detention centre and everything that I had been told when the Labor Party came to government had become a lie. In 2001, when I visited the Woomera and Baxter detention centres, the, I still feel that horror and that awful, awful feeling in my gut of seeing young people with their lips sewn together, children playing in dirt surrounded by barbed wire, families cramped together in old dongers, shipping containers that had, had a door whacked on the front and some bunk beds chucked in. They were the images that I have always had in my mind ever since visiting those detention facilities. And when I was on Christmas Island a week ago, it all came flooding back because the detention facilities that these children, 50 plus, lots of young children everywhere, four, five, seven year olds, these are the people, these are the face of the people that this government wants to expel to Malaysia. And the whole absolutely shameful and the whole idea that we don't lock children in detention, that we don't lock them behind barbed wire, well, everything I saw last week shows that that is just simply not the truth. These families were surrounded by barbed wire. These families were living in cramped dongers, tents with bunk beds in them, lots of little kids, unaccompanied minors, pregnant women, desperate fathers, desperate sons. These are people who said to me, we, we came to Australia because we thought you were going to help us. We thought that you would give us protection. We have been running and running and running and running. And when they got off the boat at Christmas Island, they felt a sense of security, of freedom, of relief, only to be told, no, no, we've changed our mind, you're going to go back to Malaysia. It absolutely cannot happen. We cannot go back to the dark days of John Howard. This government has to stop jumping at the ghost of Howard and Ruddock. This government has to stand up for what is right. It is time... We can't, we can't, for the sake of some quick fix, quick political domestic game, expel 
vulnerable people to a country where we don't know whether their rights will be protected. All of the evidence says their rights won't be protected. All of the evidence shows that these people are going to face further persecution. We can't simply sit back and say, well, because the Labor Party doesn't have a spine, the rest of us are going to hush. Well, it's not on. We have to speak up. We have to say no. We have to stand up for human rights, for dignity, for freedom, for desperate people who have done nothing wrong, have done absolutely nothing wrong, but sought freedom for their families, protection for their families. And we know that Australia ultimately is a great country. We are ultimately a wonderful, compassionate country. We care about each other. We care about the vulnerable. We stand up for the fair go. Well, if Julia Gillard and Tony Abbott aren't going to do that, you need to. You need to stand up for the fair go. No to mandatory detention. Yes to increasing our refugee intake because we don't want these people jumping on leaky boats. Of course not. Well, let's bring them here ourselves. Because if we, are, if we are serious about people not risking their lives on the high seas, then give them a safe pathway. Don't simply brush this off as a, another political fight. It's time that politicians started acting with decency, respect, compassion, spine, and stop playing politics with people's lives. Sarah Hanson-Young.